Welcome back, Alpha Squad, and as you can see, we're going to create life now with a game called Cell to Singularity, a really impatient game for that matter. Okay, fine. We're jumping into the Matrix and helping them create life. Thank you. I think we broke the Matrix. Yeah, they really need our help, that's not how Earth looks like. And the sun is a little close to it. Just so got a tap. So this is a clicking thing. I have my own auto clicker that I right now. So I'm gonna use that. Yeah, to get a lot of entropy fast. Use entropy to buy evolution up. Home star. Stars are the power source of the universe. Solar waves pour onto nearby planets and provide energy for millions of years. And there's five planets for those solar flares to fall upon. Earth provides a mixture of chemicals and abundance of water and an atmosphere that is perfect for developing life. We don't have enough of primordial soup or the moon, so let's get clicking. And who wants to wait to click, you know? Let's just use the auto clicker. Okay, the auto clicker has been set up for thousands at a thousand clicks per second, but clearly the game can only take 80 clicks per second. What a shame. But now we're getting a lot of interest. And let's go buy some evolutionary stuff. We can buy the moon. The gravitational forces exerted by the moon and the sun and the rotation of Earth turn the tides of the ancient oceans to advanced life. How can you turn oceans if there is no ocean to turn? Because right now it's only magma and obsidian. I don't think anyone wants to live on that. But let's buy the moon. The moon is born when a Mars-sized object hits the young Earth. Primordial soup, a solution rich in organic compounds needed to set the conditions for life. Well, we need to set the conditions for life. Nucleotide. Nucleotides. Nucleotides are the chemical compounds that build the foundation for DNA and RNA. Let's build the foundation. We got RNA. Messengers of genetic code. RNA is responsible for transferring genetic code from the nucleus to ribosomes. To make proteins. Our proteins is very important. Amino acids. Atoms and molecules bond together to create these raw materials of life. I don't think that is going to support life right now. It's a bowl of molten rock and a moon. So, yeah. Amino acids are building blocks of life. Well, yeah, but there's no life to build on molten rock. We created, life created amino acid. Every life you buy earns more background entropy production. Oh, we have one little amino acid. And we have an actual Earth now, with Pangea. Well, we have to start somewhere. Let's buy a few more amino acids. Ten amino acids. Protein, building blocks of living cells. Protein from molecules made through long chains of amino acids. We need protein. 
Yes, I see you, Aaron. We can buy 10 at a time, 100 at a time. We can buy max. And buy one. I think we stick to buying 10 at a time. That will work out more efficiently if you ask me. Just like when I was looking at OCD, OCD, OCD. I'm joking, I'm looking at OCD. But! Yeah. So next is Volcano and Plasma Membrane. And this looks like the prim primordial soup. Let's go get some more entropy. That old question is called auto clicking. So peaceful. But it's all a simulation. Which one day is that can put us into? So if we do this right, then the metrics would be a lot more fun. I mean, like singularity is when AI takes over and humanity is decided to use as batteries or to die. So let's try and fix that. And before we get the AI that takes over, we might get sexy robots. Who doesn't want that? Let's buy a volcano. The carbon dioxide that volcanoes produce warmed the earth and was a major catalyst in making earth habitable. We need that. We need a habitable earth. The plasma membrane protects the interior of cells from the environment. Like if everything dies straight away, it's no use, so we need to protect now we can buy DNA, we can buy more amino acids, and DNA. DNA, a molecule with a unique property of self-replication. DNA's infinite configurations forms the foundation of all evolutionary changes. Well, that's great. The prokaryotic cell, the first living organism, these unicellular organisms paved the way for life to begin. The first signs of life bubble up in the primordial soup. Oh, there it is. And the spinning thingy. Quantum charge. Trigger this quantum charge to earn evolution of 6,900 entropy. Trigger for one cube. I don't think I have cubes. Skip. What's this? I have an achievement. Beginnings. Prokaryotes. Sorry. Prokaryotes have a high metabolic and growth rate, leading them to not only be the first true organisms on Earth, but also one of the most prolific. That's cool. Let's get some more acids in here, and I wanted to get more DNA, but I can't. Another achievement. First amino acids. In 1806, French chemist Louis Nicolas. Vacuillin and Pierre Jean Robicou. My pronunciation must be so terrible right now. I am very sorry. Isolated a compound in asparagus that was subsequently named asparagine, the first amino acid to be discovered. Since they created life, you know, we took a very long time to discover that we come from bats. So. We took our time because we wanted to do it right. Some more DNA. We can do more research. Bacterium. Unicellular microorganisms that have cell walls, but none of the organelles that make up multicellular organisms. Sorry, bacteria, you're gonna stay unicellular. Mitosis. The ability of cells to divide more similar cells. This process would help single cell organisms multiply. It's basically reproduction without the fun stuff. Well, we probably need that. Speaking of reproduction without the fun stuff, asexual reproduction. Similar to mitosis, asexual reproduction is the process where the entire organism is produced from a single parent. Yeah. 
not having fun and still getting kids? That doesn't sound like the best deal. Kids are great and all, but who doesn't want to do the fun stuff with kids? Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria are an organelle that converts glucose to energy. Now think about it, glucose is sugar, so if you didn't convert that to energy, everyone would be fat. We need that. We really need that. Virus. A biological agent that replicates within other cells. Surprisingly, if it went for the virus's ability to infiltrate the DNA of organisms, humans may not even exist. Okay, what do you guys think? Do we need humanity or no? I think we do, because if humanity wasn't here, you wouldn't be able to enjoy the wonderful videos that I create that come once a week. We got the virus. Yes, I screwed the earth over. Thank you, Dave. Nucleus. The cells controls it. It contains the chromosomes that house the DNA. Eukaryotic cell. This game saves in the background. Thank you. And... How much is that game? Time for some more auto ticking. Control. Now we're getting about... 1750 HP per second. Oh, we do have those pink cubes. But what are they? I'll check in a sec. Once I re reach about, say, 100,000, then I'll check it out. I also have something ready in the bottom left corner. That's 60,000 is fine. Get Darwinium. You have to pay money for that? Yeah, not gonna do that. Time flux. Engage with 10 Darwinium. Entropy burst. Get a million entropy for Darwinium. It sounds way too expensive. I'm oh, sorry. What's this? Mutation Accelerator. Add power to the accelerator and your life on this planet will receive a two times income used for 30 minutes. Why not? Use Darwinium to increase your timer by 4 hours. No thank you. We can afford the ozone layer. A layer in the Earth's stratosphere that protects the planet from ultraviolet radiation. We are totally getting that. And if it wasn't for the ozone layer and the Earth's magnetic fields, we wouldn't have the Aurora Borealis, or in other words, the South and Northern Lights. Because the Earth's magnetic fields protect us from solar flares and direct it to the North and South Poles, where it reflects in the ozone layer and creates a beautiful, spectacular array of lights. Who doesn't like looking at that? I mean, like, seriously. Oh, we bought the ozone layer. Now we need a bunch of entity again for probably the eukaryotic cell. Instead of screw it, I'm getting asexual reproduction. Because we need probably need that to get to the fun one. What do you guys think? Maybe, maybe not. Something's coming off it, but I don't know what. And back to autism. 5,605 magnets. Make up your mind, okay? 5,693 entropy per second. I think that's a really good speed to go at. And we're past the 100,000. Let's get the eukaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cell's more complex cousin, formed by the symbiotic unification of several prokaryotic cells. And there we have it in the primordial cell. The earth is spinning faster. It's probably because of the boost. Sexual reproduction. 
extremely long method of multiplication <laughs> involving both my houses and my toasts. So apparently sexual reproduction is extremely long. Well, um, it's still a fun thing to do though. <laughs> Even if it takes a long time to produce the offspring, but still. I think it's really fun. And we can get tissue. Groups of cells come together to achieve a specific function. Filter feeding. The passive way of finding nourishment by having nutrients filtered through an organism's body. The method of choice for clams, krill, and sponges. We can make sponge ball. See? Sponge. Cytoplasm. All of the materials that are contained inside of a cell membrane, except for the nucleus. Daily mutation, claim your reward for Darwinium. Thank you for the Darwinium. We can get the nervous system and muscles or more amino acids. We can also save up for the sponge, the world's first multicellular organism. These stationary filter feeders are a product of multiple eukaryotic cells coming together. Well, you kind of need that, so let's also click up to 200, uh, 203,037 entropy so we can buy sponges. We're coming for you, SpongeBob! Oh, 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 to life! Oh, one SpongeBob. He's awesome. I like Spongebob. Ooh, wait. He makes Spongebob. We're probably gonna get Squidward. Ah, we don't like Squidward. That mean old fart. And... We have enough to buy 10 Spongebob. The one becomes the many. The first multicellular organism. And we have a new area. Namely, the ocean. With a few sponges. They don't look like Spongebob. I'm so sorry guys, I failed. I tried to make Spongebob. I just didn't succeed. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can get more DNA. And another achievement. A dip in the gene pool. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the blueprint of all living things. See, this video isn't meant for pronunciation, so don't think I'm gonna feel bad <laughs> about my pronunciation being really bad. Coral. A marine invertebrate who has the ability to develop a hard calcium carbonate exoskeleton. Well, the coral reefs are dying out in our world, so we have to make new ones in the new world. Ah, so sad. Muscles. Tissue in an animal... Sorry. Tissues in animal bodies that enable them to move. You want anything getting left there? Animals. You can get more prokaryotic cells. Why not? And we can get more amino acids if we quickly go up to 80. And 80. We have more amino acids. And another achievement. Acids, acids everywhere. A complete protein or whole protein is a food source of protein that contains an adequate proportion of each of the nine essential amino acids necessary in the human diet. But okay, now we do. Polypeptides. When amino acids bond together, they create a chain that becomes an integral building block in creating proteins. Shouldn't that have come f before the protein then? Who cares? We can... Oh, 
we're a bit away from that. Let's quickly catch up. Come on, 500,000. That's all we need. Well, 535,080. And we have that. And we have polypeptides. Anything else? Just the advances into the ocean. Well, I think that's it for this video, my Alpha Squad members. And if you're not part of the Alpha Squad, why not? My videos are awesome. Let's join. Because if you're part of the Alpha Squad, you can join my Discord. You can then suggest your own ideas for videos. And you can suggest other games you should want to see me play. But for now, if you liked the video, please leave a like, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see my Alpha Squad members and any newcomers next week.